Hey, I'm Nadine Peart from Healthy You, Healthy Love, and I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for heart-connected, passionate, and united love. And in this video, I'll be talking about how to know if a relationship or the relationship you're currently in is just not going to work out and why this is not the end of the world, even though it may feel like it. Remember to like, share, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to be notified of my next video. Be sure to comment below and tell me a little bit about you and your relationship situation so that I know how I can support you in the most effective way. And please share this video with at least one friend in need of some assistance when it comes to finding and keeping love. Now let's be honest, when you really like someone and when you're tired of being single or when you're desperate to be loved, it's easy to overlook the signs that a man is not your match. Deep down you might know he's not right for you and yet you find it hard to acknowledge that he's not a man who will satisfy your soul. If you know you tend to invest your precious time and heart into going nowhere relationships, then here are five ways to know whether you're putting your energy into the right person for you, a compatible match. But before I continue, I want to share something critical. Some women and men are what I would call runners. Rather than working on themselves and the relationship, they give up too soon. They don't put the effort in to reconnect or build a deeper intimacy that is needed for lasting, compatible partnership and love. So while these following points are valid in many situations, it's important that you reflect on your past relationships and dating life to discern whether you tend to be a fault finder and dismiss someone too soon because this is what you do with most people as a form of protection or they're legitimately not right for you. Here we go. Number one, the desire for intimacy is gone. Is there a sudden or slow shrugging off of all forms of physical or emotional intimacy, either on his part or your part, or even both? Has the action in the bedroom become scarce or disappeared completely, or maybe you were never physically attracted to your man, though you tried to make it work? Or perhaps the physical aspect is the only thing that does work, yet there's no emotional intimacy. Emotional and physical intimacy allows for true romantic partnership. Without these two types of intimacy combined, the relationship rarely feels fulfilling. Sure, if the physical intimacy is not a priority for you, then this tip may not 100% apply, and yet most people need to feel connected, fulfilled. Number two, there's an overabundance of conflict. Arguments and disagreements are inevitable and bound to flare up every now and again in any relationship. You're both unique individuals with varying needs, personalities, and backgrounds, but when the fighting is at a constant and even expected, that's when you know for sure that something is definitely wrong. If a couple is facing argument after argument, day in and day out, that means there's a failure on both parties in understanding and respecting the point of view and needs of the other. Can two people overcome constant conflict? Yes, though both people have to be willing to learn new ways to not only understand themselves, but also their partner too. If one or both of you are unwilling to make amendments, there's a good chance nothing will change which leads to an absence of communication. Some people can be talking and fighting, though are they really communicating? Well, most often not. True communication involves listening to each other's perspectives, sharing vulnerabilities and values, and working out solutions. Instead of communicating, many people fall into the habit of either blaming themselves or the other, shaming, stonewalling, or pretending nothing is wrong. Communication is the main foundation of a relationship. After all, how can anyone's needs be met if the needs themselves aren't being communicated? If you're not able to sit down and really nut out your challenges and work together as a team, then this is a big sign that your relationship may not be a true relationship. Do you wonder if you might have some communication or love blocks standing in your way of true intimate love? Do you have a sneaky suspicion that you hold on to or attract the wrong relationships for you? Well, luckily I have a brilliant free gift to help you identify any love blocks you might be facing that are stopping you from experiencing sexy, united, and lasting love. If you're interested, simply click the link to the free gift in the description below to find out what could be your romantic love block syndrome. Next point, you no longer trust each other. For some people, entering a relationship can feel like a huge risk. This is why in order for a relationship to feel secure, there has to be a large amount of trust coming from both you and your partner. 
Trust is something that is near impossible to win back once it's been broken. When you think of trust, most people jump to fidelity and honesty. And yet another way trust is eroded is when people do not honor their own word, when they don't show up fully in the relationship, when they break agreements, often without communicating. When we're in a relationship, we wanna be able to trust that our partner will be able to support us on a bad day, make an effort to see us, and will think of us when making plans with or without us. If you don't feel like a priority and valued, then your heart won't trust the relationship. This is a big sign that this relationship is not a united one. Next point, personal boundaries aren't being respected. When it feels like personal boundaries are constantly being breached and disrespected to the point that neither of you are comfortable being around each other, then maybe it's time to call it quits. To get a better understanding of what boundaries are, please check out my video about this topic. You can find the link to that video right down in the description. In a nutshell, if it feels like there's no physical or emotional compatibility, and or it feels like you're constantly having to walk on eggshells in order to avoid upsetting each other or getting into another fight, then it probably means that things aren't going to work out. Coming to that conclusion is actually beneficial for both you and your man in the long run, as it will spare you both from days, months, and years of heartache, allowing you both to heal and find the kind of commitment and affection you both deserve, except with other people. Now, as I said earlier, if you're inclined to run from intimacy and you haven't yet done the work on yourself, then you need to be very careful and find out whether you're just running away rather than working on yourself and the relationship. To help you work this out and to attract the very best relationship into your life, my program Never Lose Him is a godsend. It reveals how you show up with men and why you might be attracted to people that are not healthy for you and how to break these cycles and free yourself from going nowhere relationships. This program can help save you years of frustration and give you the clarity you need to create big, rocking, sexy love. Check out the description down below for the link to my Never Lose Him program. That's all the time I have today. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notified of my next hot topic. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tag me there at Nadine Piet. Thank you for being here with me. I value you and look forward to seeing you again at my next video.